Okay, um, hello everyone. Okay, so um, when we are naming our variables, we want to make sure that we name them with names that are meaningful or that make sense to us. If you name your variables with, let's say, letters like x is equal to 12 and let's say y is equal to, 15, is equal to 15, if these names are referring to you know, certain values that um, are, let's say, very important in your program, it's very easy to lose track of you know names like this. You you know, it's very easy. You you may be confused with it. You may you may wonder if this X stands for let's say the number of books or let's say it's it can be confusing when you're naming variables this way. You know, so we want to make sure that we name our variables with you know real names. Like for example, number of books. We've seen we've seen them right, so we know exactly you know that's number of books or something like H. Um, or let's say um, number of oranges. So because of this, you know, we know we know this this kind of makes sense, right? But when we are reading it, it's a bit hard to read with our eyes, right? Because you know all the all the num all the letters are close together with no spaces and they're all in lowercase. So a convention for creating variables, one way of, uh, for creating variables, it's a convention, is by using the underscores. And that's by separating uh, each, we can't put the space, we know we can't put the space in our variables. So if we try to do this, we're going to get an error. Oops, sorry. We're going to get an error. So we try to use underscores in place of spaces. And remember, we can use underscores in between our variables, so that shouldn't give us an error. So something like this will will work right so this is a bit easier to read than number of books without underscores or number of oranges without underscores so this is one naming convention which you use to create our variables when I run this you can see we have no errors I can go ahead and I can print exactly as the, the variable in you know, the variable is so for, for example I can print number of books let's go ahead and copy this paste it and print it out and we can see it's 12 I can change it to number of oranges And it should say 15. So, using underscores to name variables is one convention that, if we want, you can stick with. In the next video, I'll show you um, another naming convention called camel case. All right. If you have any questions, please comment down below, and I'll do everything to respond to them. Thank you very much for watching. Take care of yourselves, and I'll see you next time with the next video. Okay, then. Bye bye.